Hi everyone, Yuki from NTOP, and I'm here to give you an overview of our new field optimization capability. With NTOP 4, field optimization is now available. You can now generate highly engineered parts using a multi-objective and multi-scale design tool. Field optimization is a new general design technology that enables you to solve today's most complex engineering problems, accelerating and improving decision making for highly engineered parts. This new capability allows engineers to focus on specifying the design intent and requirements of the part while letting the software automatically determine the complex geometric details such as lattice layouts, wall thicknesses, rip patterns, and other spatially varying parameters. There are currently four optimization workflows in the field optimization tool. Periodic lattice optimization, where you can generate lightweight structures with an optimized shape and lattice thickness for NTOPS beam, TPMS, and honeycomb unit cells. Shell optimization, where you can create hollow structures with variable shell thickness tailored to your operation conditions, with or without a lattice infill. Voronoi lattice optimization, where you can generate 3D printed foams with variable cell sizes and beam thickness to meet stiffness requirements for your loading conditions. And lastly, shell and infill optimization, where you can create hollow structures with variable shell thickness and optimize the infill lattice thickness. Take a look at where you can find and use field optimization in NTOP. Since this workflow is still in development, it will be found in the beta tab. If you don't see the beta tab in your ribbon, ensure it is enabled. To turn on beta, go to settings, general, and you'll find show beta blocks and ensure the box is checked. With the beta tab turned on, simply find beta in the ribbon and you'll find the new field optimization blocks available here. The first example is the NASA bracket, which uses the parametric shell and infill. To start off, we use traditional topology optimization to optimize a satellite bracket for the NASA Excite Challenge to get the global shape. We then applied a shell and infill optimization to further optimize the weight and stiffness of the part. And in doing so, this resulted in a part that was twice as durable under vibration loading conditions while still coming in 6% lighter than alternative approaches used to date. Field optimization simultaneously optimizes parts weight and vibrational stiffness by fine tuning the local wall and gyroid thickness. A second application of field optimization is the design of a hip implant engineered to fuse with the bone. This workflow used a parametric Voronoi component. To avoid stress shielding and increase the longevity of the implant, you need the effective mechanical properties of the implant to match that of the bone. Using a methodology describing the stress shielding effects, it took roughly one hour to build a field optimization workflow in NTOP4 and achieve a lighter weight implant with a better biocompatibility profile, resulting in a reduced fatigue and increased longevity. Field optimization simultaneously optimizes part for strength, weight, and bone-like properties by locally optimizing the cell size and thickness of the Voronoi cells. When you're working with field optimization and you want to learn more about the specific blocks, open up the properties page from the block and click learn more to understand the block better. If you want to learn more or have questions about field optimization, go to support.ntop.com, search for field optimization and find resources such as an FAQ and also a page where you can learn how to run a field optimization. You're going to look out for more videos related to field optimization. Get a quick understanding of how field optimization workflows are set up and apply to these parts. I hope this video helped you understand field optimization and where to find all your related resources. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed the new field optimization.